Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining your virtual drinking buddy. So, I am going to crack open White by Alaskan Brewing Company. They're out of Anchorage, Alaska. This is the last beer that I have out of the variety pack. I've been holding on to this for a while. So, I'm sure it's still good, but we'll see. It's, it's actually been a few months. I feel like I got this maybe in March. This is what they have to say about this beer. Alaskan White Ale is based on a Belgian-style wit beer, literally translated to white beer. White beers, or Witbeeren, are named for the suspended wheat proteins created, creating a cloudy appearance in this unfiltered beer. Uh, the flavor profile is, has soft, slightly sweet base with a unique spice aroma of coriander and crisp citrus finish of orange peel. The light and effervescent body combined with a smooth palate creates a complex and delicate beer that is deliciously refreshing in any season. Alaska White Ale is made from glacier-fed water in a generous blend of the finest quality European and Pacific Northwest hop varieties, wheat and Turo specialty malt, our water originates in a 1,500 square mile Juno ice field in from, excuse me, how terribly crude, and from the more than 90 inches of rainfall Juno receives each year. Original gravity is 1.048, ABV is 5.3, bitterness is 15 IBUs, the color is 7 SRM. That was a whole lot to read. But I do it because I care. Um, they, at least with the beers that I've had from the Alaskan Brewing Company, they have been pretty informational. And I know that was kind of long-winded, but I felt it was necessary. I've I've seen more on websites, and I've seen far less. So. I just thought I'd go ahead and read it all. Yeah, there's plenty of activity going on there. See, actually, lots of uh, wheat proteins floating around in there. Lots of little specks. Don't think it shows up very well. What I'm seeing is a nice golden colored beer. Nice white head on it. Picking up a little bit of that coriander and orange peel. Just a little bit left in the can. I don't know. I might really be pushing it. It's up over the brim of the mug. And thankfully, I think there's somebody driving a lawnmower by. So it's going to take them a really fucking long time. Like, they're not even on their yard. Oh, nope. It's not who I thought it was. There's this little guy that's always shirtless in our town. Some people call him Gopher. Some people call him Tarzan. But he, he has found somebody that owns a riding lawnmower and apparently has borrowed it from them on a long-term basis and just drives it all around town. I don't know that he's going to lawn mowing jobs or if he's... I, or what? I, I have no idea what's going on. I just see him cruising by my house all the time. The best part is one night he had a special lady friend with him. They were riding the lawnmower together. That was an awesome treat. I... Uh, Kinda wish I'd had a picture of that. It's a, uh, yeah, tales from small town Iowa. Not on that note, there's only one thing left to do. Cheers. Pretty much what I was expecting. It's pretty good beer. I, I like the the white beers, the 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 wit beers, if you will. Um, not quite as heavy as say. Uh, a blue moon but it, i mean it has the the same flavor profile it's, it's got the coriander it's got the orange peel it's just a little bit lighter in body but overall a very good beer 
if you're so inclined to the wit beer. So that's really up to you. I like it. I give it a big double thumbs up, kind of like the Fonz. Hey, but all I can say is give it a shot. It's a pretty good beer. And that's all I have to say. So if you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe button below. And this is the Malta Gentleman reminding you, you only have one liver, so use it wisely.